you know, everybody sees them on the on TV where they spark a couple wires under the dash and start the car. There's none of that. It's just simply turning the switch. So it's really easy. It's way too easy. All thieves need is a thumb drive or USB cord. It's Hyundai's and Kia's both, both of them. Both being targeted by a growing TikTok trend, encouraging teens to steal certain models with a steel key and turn to start ignition systems. So essentially they break that off, stick the USB or the end of a phone charger in. And they're going. That's wow. it. It's way, it's way too simple. In the past two months alone, Clark McGee, owner of 16th Street Auto Body in Sacramento, says he's had eight to ten cars come in after falling victim. Cars, you know, before that um, all plastic, this was all metal and it would be very difficult to do. Now it's just break everything and go. Break everything, including the windows to get inside and then take it on a reckless joy ride. It was fresh damage, so there was a d minor dents in the door, minor dents here, minor dents into the uh, quarter panel. So the rear fender. And then there's another problem, the supply chain. And we've been telling you about this for a long time. That means ordering parts like this is taking a long time. So that they damaged both of those parts, the clamshells, and all those are really hard to find right now because there are so many are being stolen right now. The Sacramento Police Department tells KCRA 3 it is aware of the TikTok trend that McGee says has made its way into the capital city. I can't fathom that. I, 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 I have no idea how, how that has, has become acceptable. In Sacramento, Brittany Hope, KCRA 3 News. So as for those car makers, Kia and Hyundai, both telling KCRA3 that they're working on some new software to help stop the thievery. In the meantime, they've both made steering wheel locks that are available for free through local law enforcement agencies. And Hyundai's also selling a glass brake sensor security kit that drivers can buy, but it's not cheap. It's $170.